Hey guys, it's time to open some football cards. Not only are we opening football cards, we're opening old football cards from 1990. And from what I understand, this this set is filled with error cards and some cards that may actually be worth a little bit of money. Um, most of these are not worth much, if anything. Uh, most card sets from the late 80s and early 90s aren't worth anything these days just because they were printed in such large quantities and I bought my share of them when I was a kid I had tons of Leaf and Donruss baseball cards that were from the 90s uh, but what, what I'm gonna try to do with this box is go on a hunt for some of these more elusive error cards or, or some of the ones that are harder a little tougher to find so I think that there are 36 packs in this box so what I'm gonna do is make four different videos if I can get this in here uh, Okay, so what I'm going to do is make four different videos. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And we're going to open each each of these piles of packs looking for some of these error cards. I have a list over here to the side of certain ones that I'm looking for. And if you guys notice something that I miss uh, while I'm opening these, then y'all can point it out in the comments. This is the back. Uh, they had a contest that I think... The things needed to be redeemed by 1991 and these are much different than cards today these packs they're just they're loose and it's interesting to go back and open these these old cards and these unlike some of the other old cards that I've opened are not stuck together okay here's the playbook that comes in each pack that's interesting okay so let's see who are we going to get? A Sterling Sharp. And a lot of these guys, I'll actually know their names. Some of them I won't, like Sean Landetta. Uh, but a lot of them, I will actually know some of them. Because uh, these were guys that were players when I was growing up. And they are, uh, you know, like I said, they were players when I was growing up. So they're... People that I would recognize their names and all that. And I do have a few players that if I find them, they may not be error cards. But if I find them, uh, there'll be guys that I pull out. Just because they're guys I know. Oh, that's a cool looking card, actually. Bart Starr. And uh, some of these I only know by the numbers on the back. So I'm going to go back through afterwards. And like I said, if, if y'all notice some I miss, let me know. I'm going to go back and look through them and see if I miss any uh, and all that. But hopefully we'll get some of these. I know there are some that, are, that were like promo cards that I'm sure I won't get. But maybe we'll get at least one of them. Because some of them are worth quite a bit. And others are... You know, two or three dollars. Scott Case. I don't like it when they're upside down like that. Maybe that's a short print or something. I don't know. I don't even know if they did those back then. A Robert Clark. Anthony Johnson. A Reggie Cobb. Ken Clark. Eric Green. That's a cool looking card too. Looks like, I don't know if that's a photo or art, but it looks like art. And Andre Ryson. Uh, so along those lines, who who are some of y'all's favorite players from 
of these years from the late 80s, early 90s. I know one of mine would have to be, uh, and this is because I am a big Auburn fan, but it would have to be Bo Jackson. Uh, because I went to Auburn, graduated from Auburn, now I work at Auburn. Uh, so Bo Jackson is definitely one one of my favorites. Lee Williams. But who do you guys like? A Mark Duper? I'm not going to turn that around because the next one is this way. Johnny Rembert, Jeff Herod, Sean Jones, Leroy Butler, Ron Cox, Alex Gordon, Todd Kalis, Fred Bilitnikoff, and that's the last one in that pack. So I'm kind of going through these a little fast. I don't want this to be a 30 minute long video. But I don't want to skip over anything. Uh, which is why I made the list that I have over here. And I haven't seen anything yet from my list. Jeff Dillenbach on the Dolphins. Anthony Munoz, Michael Brooks. I haven't really seen many of the big players that I know either. So Eric Davis, Chris Singleton. Was that one? I don't think so. I don't see him on my list. Cortez Kennedy and a Larry Sanka. All right. Let's see. And I don't know what these play playbook things are. I think it's some contest or something. Dave Meggett, Perry Williams, Leroy Horde, uh, Dawson, Mark Lee, Ken Rukers, a Thomas Benson, David Fulcher, Jesse Solomon, Dennis Smith, Anthony Smith, James Francis, Carwell Gardner, American Bowl, Tokyo. That's a cool one. I don't think it's anything special, but it's cool. MVP of Super Bowl V, Chuck Howley. That's another cool one. I know there's also an Emmett Smith uh, rookie and rookie card in here that I think might be worth a few dollars. I don't think it's anything anything super crazy, but it might be a little bit. Jeff Hosteller, Andre Reed, Trace Armstrong, Reggie Rutland, Robert Del Pino, Bobby Humphrey, Albert Lewis, David Galloway, Rodney Pete, Greg Cragen, Tony Bennett, Brian Blados, American Bowl, Berlin. That would be cool to get all those, just, just to have. And MVP of Super Bowl one, Bart Starr. Uh, there's a Lombardi trophy card in here too that I think is pretty collectible and still sells pretty well, a hologram card. Which I think back in the during this time period, those were those were pretty big things. Oh, Thurman Thomas. There's one I know. Ken Stills, Rich Gannon, Courtney Hall, Alvin Wright, Chris Martin, Brent Williams, Curtis Duncan, who I think I got a Curtis Duncan earlier, but I can't remember. Nope, that's somebody else. Thought he might be on my list, but he's not. Derek Hill, a junior sayout. I think, yes. This is not an error, but I put it on my list because it's actually one of the cards that's worth a little bit. It's his uh, rookie card, I believe, and it's $1.25. So I'm going to set it back here. Howard Ballard, an American Bowl, Montreal, and another Bart Starr. So we did get one. At least I think it's $1.25. The list I found had it at $1.25, but it wasn't Beckett or anything, so... Who knows? It is a junior say hour rookie card though, which is not too shabby. Frank Reach, Don Beebe, Hassan Jones, a Barry Sanders Pro Bowl. Uh, that's one that I will pull out. I can't remember if I've got a Barry Sanders on here, and I can't remember if this is the one or not. This is 413, and this is not one, but it is a Barry Sanders. Uh, I'm going to set it up there too. Ronnie Harmon, Leslie O'Neill. Uh, any 
big name players like that, uh, like Barry Sanders, Emmett Smith, I am going to pull those out as well. Uh, Danny Noonan, John Ray, Jeff, I'm not going to pronounce his last name, Mark Carrier, uh, ooh, 22nd Annual Pro Football Hall of Fame Photo Contest. That's pretty cool. Huh. A 22nd Annual Pro Football Hall of Fame Photo Contest. Pulling off his jersey there. And a Lynn Dawson Suit MVP Super Bowl Four. That's a cool card. All right. And is this, this is the last pack of this video. Uh, and then I'll have the rest of this box is going to be divided up into three more videos. So as to keep it not too incredibly long. Will Wolford. Kent Hall, Jim Dombrowski, a Jay Hilgenberg, Dave Brown, Tony Mandarich, Mark Duper again, Reggie Roby, Dennis Gibson, Keith Taylor, Jeff George, Vince Buck, uh, another photo contest, another photo contest, that's a nice photo. I like these photo contest cards, I like these Super Bowl uh, MVPs too. Those are those are cool looking cards. So that's all for this video. And out of that quarter of the box, I did get a Barry Sanders Pro Bowl card and a Junior Seau rookie card, which is pretty cool, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that you'll stay tuned for the rest of this box. And I also hope that we get something awesome uh, in the other videos. So if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when the rest of these videos come out, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. And I'll see you guys next time.